time for another unboxing. So I was looking around on Amazon for the holidays and I found these uh, different sets. They're actually for Pathfinder Battles, but I think it's the kind of thing where I could use them for pretty much any game. I mean, obviously fantasy based, but Pathfinder, D&D, whatever. So I ordered a couple and um, if you're not familiar, these are booster decks, so you don't actually know what's gonna come in each of the boxes. So it's gonna be kind of a surprise. We'll find out what I got from my Pathfinder Battles Dungeons Deep and Pathfinder Battles Rusty Dragon Inn orders. All right, we'll start off with the Rusty Dragon Inn pieces. Um, on the side of the box there, they show some possible um, minis that you can get in the set. And there's the other side. So who knows what I'll get. I'm kind of hoping for the, the inn employees, more of those and less of the monsters, you know, some, some variety, so we'll see. Okay, wow, so there's a whole bunch of stuff packed into one thing here. And it looks like the biggest one here is the Gorgon. Ah, he's pretty tightly wedged in there. Wow, that's pretty cool. So big, big metal, Bull Gorgon right there. Um, I like that he's shaded. Um, I mean, he's pre-painted, obviously, but uh, there's a fair amount of detail in there. And I don't know if you could see his eyes, if I tilt him up like that. Mm -hmm. He's got like red eyes. So that's pretty cool. I actually don't have any minis like that. So I always like when I get something a little different from the stock of stuff that I have. Okay, next up. Looks like we have a very small little guy right there. I don't know if that's a halfling or a gnome. Let me see. Um, well, he's small, so let me look on the bottom. They usually label these. Gnome wizard. So I like that guy. I like his like bright flaming red hair. Um, in fact, I could almost see me using him for one of my other characters in an ongoing campaign who's a halfling even though this guy, this is supposed to be a gnome, um, this guy would work really well, I think, either way as a halfling. Um, you know, the paint job's not, not like astounding, but then again, you know, for pre-painted minis, I'm not that picky, I'm pretty realistic. Okay, the next guy looks like a guard, which is cool. I have a whole bunch of guard minis. Can you see that guy? Mm -hmm. Um, I have a whole bunch of guard minis from Dwarven Forge, from the city builder system. But I like variety, so it's cool to have like, you know, maybe this guy could be like a captain of the guard or a, a militia captain or something else, you know, so he stands out from the rest of the guards, but that's pretty cool. Last one is, oh, holy crap, what is this? A bunyip. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've, I think the last time I even said the word bunyip aloud was like second edition D&D. &D. Um, so cool, yeah. I mean, this is definitely, it's another monster mini that I don't have. Um, and his scale is pretty cool. Um, and this might fit in really well with a lot of different campaign ideas that I have. I have a fair amount of campaign things in my own campaign, as well as in some of the campaigns that I'm playing in that are around water of one type or another. Um, so that, that might be kind of a cool option to add in there. So that is the Rusty Dragon inset. And now I'm going to move those guys aside and we'll do the other box, which is the Dungeons Deep box. So again, similar thing. Don't really know what I'm going to get, but there's some sample things here on this side of things you can get. And same with this side of things that you might get. So we'll see what I get in this set. So, wow, another big package full of stuff there. Um, the biggest thing that's tied in, I'm, gonna, I'm going to untie this. Is this a, this is a really, really big griffin, which is cool, because I don't think I have, I don't think I have a griffin. I, I might, I, don't, I might have a really old, metal like Ralpartha one, but I'm not sure if I do. So, but this is nice, um, very handy. I could definitely use this in my home campaign 
as well as offer it up to some of the DMs for games that I play in. Um, actually, nice, nice detail. And you know what? I think with a mini of this size, if I had a metal version, like some of the metal dragons and the older metal minis, the bigger they got and the more weighty they were and the harder it was to get them to stand up and, and to not bend or break. So it's kind of cool to have this in a plasticized version because I feel like, you know, if I drop it, it's not the end of the world. Um, so that's kind of a cool guy. Got another bag here with a Baycock, B-A-Y-K-O-K. -K. Um, I'm... I can't remember exactly what this is. I think it's some kind of an undead creature um, or maybe something from another plane, but he looks really cool. Um, you know, it's it can generically fall into anything. I mean, I could, I could use that as a demon. Um, I could use it as a, a, you know, a creature from another plane or an undead creature. So kind of a cool mini, good scale, good paint job. Um, some decent details in his weapons there. Okay, up next, can you see this one? This is a really weird thing. This is a giant crawling hand. At first I was like, what the heck is this? But you can actually see that it's a hand. The fingertips are walking around like this. It's like a severed giant hand. Um, so again, huge potential for a campaign that where you want to throw some undead into the mix. Um, or some really, you know, heavily magically altered creatures and, you know, just kind of a shocker on the table. Looks pretty cool. All right, last one here is this little person is a Gnome Mad Prophet. Gnome Mad Prophet. And uh, I like that one because it's, first of all, there's like the Gnome Mad Prophet's reading a book and has like some kind of a wand or scepter. Um, very colorful, kind of cool colors in their in the the palette there, um, but also gender neutral. Like I can't really tell if that's a female or a male, and that is kind of nice because I have campaigns where I play with males and females, and sometimes it's nice to have a mini that you know is sort of gender neutral, so that you could use it or whoever could use it for their characters. So another good set. Um, I'm pleased. These all have been minis that I don't think I have in my collection. So it's kind of a, a nice way to add something to the mix. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. And stay tuned for more videos all related to gaming content on my channel.